The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about a lump in abdomen, right? If you have any abnormal swelling, a thing which you can feel in your abdomen, right? So what to do? What is a, there is a bulge, a small area of swelling, a bulge in the tissue of the belly, then what can be the reason? What can be the cause? How to diagnose it, right? And uh, what to do? Obviously, that's the question to ask here. And as you know, we make videos about health and healthcare topics and all our videos are directly referenced from US National Medical Library so you can trust the information. So let's start with this topic. See, the lump in abdomen is basically a small or big area of swelling inside the abdomen and you can you may or may not feel it right then see most often a lump in abdomen is caused because of hernia most common reason is hernia hernia is uh, a that can be most commonly an abdominal hernia which occurs because there is a weak spot in the abdominal wall and this allows the internal organs to bulge through the muscles of the abdomen and you can feel that right a hernia may appear after you strain or lift something heavy or after uh, a long period of cuffing also right and there are several types of hernias based on where they occur like inguinal hernia can be a bulge in the groin or in the scrotum also lower part and this type is the most common in men then women obviously women also can have inguinal hernia incisional hernia is a type of hernia which occurs through the scar of an incision of people who have had abdominal surgery then there is something called an umbilical hernia that appears in the bulge around the belly button right this can it occurs uh, when the muscles around the navel does not close completely that can happen but this is not the only reason for a uh, lump in the abdominal wall right if you have a lump in the abdomen that can be in the abdominal wall right it can be a hematoma hematoma is a collection of blood under the skin mostly after injury right a lipoma can be a collection of fatty tissue under the skin and you can have lymph nodes or tumors of the skin or even the muscles so these can be there then very rarely you can even find liver abdom liver enlarged can be felt under the ribs spleen enlarged can be felt under the ribs of the left side liver on the right side that can happen a huge ovarian cyst can be found in the center obviously a pregnant uterus can be found in the center so there are many other reasons also right so when should you go to a doctor obviously if you have a lump in your abdomen especially if it is becoming larger changes in color or has any pain then you need to go to a doctor if it is hernia right your if your hernia is already been diagnosed then you need to look for if there is any changes in the appearance of hernia if there is more pain in the hernia if you have stopped uh, passing gas or feel bloated if you have constipation a lot of it if you have fever if you have pain tenderness around the hernia or if you have vomiting or nausea then that's the time where even hernia needs to be gone to the to the doctor we have already made a dedicated video on hernia which in which we've explained the test and treatment and other causes go and watch that video just type hernia by doctor education you'll see the video see it's very important to understand the concept. So what will happen in, if you go to the doctor? Your doctor will obviously examine you, take your history and ask you so many questions like where is the lump? When did you notice? Know is there any changes? Does it come and go? Does anything make your lump bigger or smaller? Or what kind of other symptoms you have? So during the test, uh, you might be asked to cuff and strain so that we can see that it increases or not you need to remember a surgery may be needed to correct hernias that do not go away 
or cause symptoms to you a surgery may be done through the a large surgical cut or through a small cut into the uh, in, uh, into which a surgeon basically inserts cameras with other instruments that's called laparoscopic surgeries so if you have other swellings bigger swellings than ultrasound intraabdominal lumps ultrasound of the abdomen ct scan mri scan can be done to locate what kind of organ has been enlarged and then other blood tests can be done to find out the reason for that so this is the overall basics about a lump in abdomen i hope this video helps don't forget to share this video for somebody else right it's important for knowledge to be spread so don't worry about it take care of your health and stay connected stay healthy